Paper Crane Wishes. And today I'm gonna show you how I made these resin pendants with just a little bit of resin, a jump ring, and some uh, silicone molds from We Are Memory Keepers and the Color Pour line of products. At first, when I get started with my resin projects, I always like to use the bottom half of a Coke can. I just find that this is really easy. It's malleable while you work because it's tin, so you can lower how much funnel you want, but and also you can just throw it away when you're finished. For this project, I used the amazing ClearCast resin. I do like this resin product. It's affordable, it's at most craft stores, and it just works really, really good. Um, you always want to mix on a one to one ratio. Always, always, always. Most definitely a good idea. And when you start out with small little batches, it can get easier to work with it. So, you know, really think about what you want to start with. I got into resin when I was making the tumblers and resin's hard to work with. You got to really learn how and when it's going to reach the consistency that you want. My main um, suggestions are you can't really over stir. <laughs> well, you can over stir, but not really. And also the other thing is make sure it feels hot to the touch, side to the touch. With the tin can, I can see into it clearly and a lot of other really great things. Um, and I'll put some links into the description of videos where I talk a little bit more about how you can get that perfect resin. And as you can see with a tin can, it's easy and malleable and I can pour it pretty simply into, into them. So here I'm, I put the first layer of resin and then I'm putting little tiny sparkles on it. And I also have the unicorn confetti in there at the bottom. The problem usually when you create pendants is that it can be hard to create things that are on different layers. So if you use a lighter and put a little bit of fire onto it in order to kind of solidify it a bit, a bit, if you do that a bit, when you put on the second layer, you're going to be able to not have that hodgepodge of mixing and actually be able to showcase whatever it is that you're working with. So I have my resin finished. It's very clear and hot to the touch. And I'm mixing in a couple different confettis that I like that I want to incorporate. I got the gold crushed glass from the Color Pour line. This is an amazing product. I'm gonna be posting a video soon about some geode resin projects that I worked on. And you want the crushed glass if you're gonna be trying to do geodes because it just turns out fantastic. Threw a little bit of other little gold in there. Why not? Can't do anything wrong with uh, having some resin. And then from here, we start, I just got a little popsicle stick. And um, since I had the first layer of the pendant, I knew it was solid. I decided to put on the gold background. And I did this, you know, with all of them. And what's nice is always have a couple different molds around because I used this for a different project and this turned out just so cool because I used all the rest of it for the base of this pyramid and I also used it to make a bracelet. So as you can see, it turned out great. The pendant, the We Are Memory Keeper pendant silicones worked great. I was blown away how it created such a perfect hole. I just got some jump rings and some, um, some necklaces on Amazon. I can put my link to the description below that are really, really low cost. So if you're trying to sell them, you can get a really high profit margin. I sincerely think that products like this sell really well on Etsy. Number one, it looks super professional um, and it just looks pretty. You can do so many cute. These would be great in batches for children's parties. That's a very hot demographic in Etsy. Um, so guys, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.